really it wasn't disappointing on on, on how we played. Uh, you got to give Pacific a lot of credit defensively, and and uh, and uh, they they caused us to play poorly. But the disappointing part wa was just our our fight and our trust. Uh, you know, we just didn't really compete very well uh, through adversity, and then. We certainly, when we, this team is really struggling with when things go bad of trusting their teammates or trusting the scout and just trusting what we're doing. And you know, I mean, we had one assist in the first 19, or no assists, I think, in the first 19 minutes of the game. And, you know, they're, they're uh, like I said, I don't want to diminish from them at all because they're a very good defensive team. And Damon's really done a good job uh, uh, getting them an identity, which we don't have right now. And, uh, if, if we can't outscore somebody, we really struggle with how we're going to win. And, uh, I mean, that game was, I mean, as bad as it was, uh, you know, you had it to eight, you know, four or five times in the second half. And, and, you know, our defense has just taken a huge step back because we're so concerned about that last offensive possession or how it's going for the, each, guy, each other uh, offensively that, you know, we have no defensive identity now, and, and uh, offensively we've been a work in progress all year. So we've got a lot of work to do, and that's what this preseason is for. It's truly a preseason. We could still, you know, have all our goals left in the league, but, but you know, uh, that uh, shows our guys, and I guess that's what you play these games for. It shows them how far we have to go if we're going to do that. All right. Robert. Joshua, um, regarding what, what Coach is saying about the trust issues uh, through adversity, what are you seeing in that regard? Um, well, I'm thinking right now it's just because we're a new team, you know, a lot of new players. We have to figure out like the best way we have to play together. A lot of new people play a lot of different ways. So I feel like the more we just get into the season, the more we can become um, more trust. Like, we just build the trust as we go along. Josh, six days in between both your games. Um, obviously, this is your lowest. This is a team's lowest output of the year. Did you see anything in terms of practice this week that you guys didn't seem as crisp offensively um, going forward into this one? Um, yeah, I would say so. Our practice wasn't the best the past couple of days. Um, I would say we weren't locked in completely. And, you know, that can't happen if we're going into a game, especially a game like this where they're going to challenge us mentally and physically. We have to be playing and practicing 100%, otherwise we're not going to win. Stuff like this is going to happen. Coach, uh, you know, this game, you guys had two assists. Um, it's like the first time playing in front yeah, of Oh, we had three. I mean, oh, three. give us credit, okay? <laughs> first time playing Somebody's in front Somebody's going to be upset because somebody followed the scout that didn't get credit for it. Uh, play in front of the home crowd for the first time in two weeks. Um, you, know, you try to go to a tournament and take what you learned from there back home, but it seems like it didn't, didn't translate tonight. Um, what do you want to take from this game moving forward? Well, again, we, w w there's no excuse here. We, we did not prepare well enough. The coach, we didn't coach well enough. We didn't uh, play well enough. Uh, we, we just have to take that. And, and as I told them, in the line, we have to look in the mirror. And, and if, we, if we want to be the team we say we do, we have to do different things. We have to change. And, uh, you know, like Josh said, we have 11 new guys. And getting them all on the same page is – is is a, a, a tough process, but you know we've got to do a better job and be more urgent to do that. And the, these two weeks should be, you know, we should be improving and taking a step back is when you have a whole week to work on yourselves is is super super duper disappointing. But uh, athletics is is full of disappointment and, and it's not. And I I told them at halftime I'm not concerned at the mistakes we made in this, that that half. I'm concerned in how. We reacted to those mistakes, and this team is, has got to compete better through adversity and through fatigue. And I've been telling them that uh, since you know the UCLA game and uh, the first game of the year. And uh, we've just got to coach through that and, and play through that. And it's a great group of guys. They want to get better, but they have to change to do that. Coach, uh, Chance Hunter came in as the team's leading scorer, um, 0 for 6 tonight. 
if you were going to have a talk with him, how do you go about making sure that, hey, you know, this is just one game, forget it. You've have a, had a great season, so it doesn't, you know, end up to two or three games. He seemed kind of frustrated out there. Yeah, he was frustrated. And, and I, I, I don't think, but again, I, you have to give Pacific credit. I don't, I'm not sure they've had any leading score. You know, I told him Derek Alston, who a lot of people have in their NBA draft, he's averaging 20 or 22 for Boise State, went two for 12 and fouled out in frustration in a triple overtime game, you know. Uh, uh, they, they've done that to everybody's leading score. They, that's what they do, and we just didn't handle it well. I mean, he, he, didn't, he didn't handle it well. I, I didn't think, you know, Michael Carter, those are two really you know, talented players, but they got frustrated today. And, uh, you know, this team, and as I keep telling them, uh, uh, they play with great emotion, and I love that, but they're too emotional. And in a game like that, you can't be emotional. You have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Pacific makes you uncomfortable. They do a great job of that. And we weren't comfortable when we got there. I mean, we, we, we were not prepared to win a 56-55 ball game, which was going to have to happen today for us to win. We thought we were just going to be at home and come and throw some shots in and, and, and go home and see our girlfriends and have our pizza. It doesn't work that way. This is Division One. And, and Pacific cares, too, and they wanted to win, too. And they wanted to win worse than we did, and they fought harder than we did for it. Uh, Coach, really quick, uh, last we heard of Drew Cobb, he was going in for MRIs on his, uh, what you guys believe to be a foot injury. Mm -hmm. um, what's his status? Still a foot injury. It's it's day-to-day. -day. Uh, when Drew comes out, then I'll know, like you guys, I don't know. He, had, he didn't practice at all this week. Um, so we have another week, but uh, there's no, uh, uh, you know, the MRIs were all negative and everything. So, you know, it's just a matter of that, that foot getting back to where it needs to be. And, again, these games are not as important as, as a month from now, and we want to make sure he gets totally healthy before we, we, we throw him out there. But uh, I, 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 don't have, I don't have any way to even put any odds on if he'll be there Sunday or not.